Hi and welcome back from Sarah. Today's new Tunisian crochet stitch is a combination of two Tunisian basic stitches. That is to say the Tunisian double crochet stitch and the Tunisian pearl stitch. To create this uh, uh, today's new stitch, you will only need to alternate the Tunisian double crochet stitch and the Tunisian pearl stitch row after row. This is why I've named this stitch the Tunisian double and pearl stitch. The Tunisian double and pearl stitch is created from a chain in multiples of two plus two stitches. So let's go and see how this stitch is done. Here I have started from a standard foundation row in Tunisian crochet of 12 stitches. As usual, I will leave all useful links uh, for the uh, techniques and stitches used in this video, both in the description below and in the top right hand corner of your screen. First loop on the hook already counts as stitch number one, while the foundation row counts for me as row number one, so we will start with row number two now. We will start with a Tunisian double crochet. As I said, this uh, stitch pattern is created by alternating the Tunisian double crochet and the Tunisian pearl stitch. So we will start with a Tunisian double crochet stitch. That is to say, we will yarn over, then insert the hook under the next vertical bar, this one, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through those two loops together. And this is my first stitch, a Tunisian double crochet stitch. We will now make a Tunisian pearl stitch. To do so, we will bring the yarn to the front, either so or I like to wrap the yarn over my hook and keeping it in place with my fingers here. Then with the yarn in front, I will go and insert the hook under the next vertical bar. Then I need to unwrap my yarn and bring it to the back again, to the back of my work and to the back of the hook, like so. Now I can yarn over and pull through the loop. And that's my pearl. This is it. So now I will proceed until the end of my forward pass, alternating the Tunisian double crochet stitch with the Tunisian pearl stitch. So now a Tunisian double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook under the next vertical bar, yarn over and pull through one loop only first, then yarn over and pull through two loops together, here. Now time for another pearl stitch, yarn in front, insert the hook under the next vertical bar, yarn to the back again, yarn over and pull through. There you go. I will proceed like this until the end of my forward pass. So since we have worked our uh, second to last stitch with a purl stitch, we need to finish with a so-called double crochet neat closing stitch. That is to say, we will work a double crochet stitch, but we will insert the hook under uh, this last, um, into this last border stitch, as we usually do for a neat closing stitch. So we insert the hook both under the front vertical bar and its back bar at the same time. Yarn over and pull through. Don't forget this is not a simple stitch, but this is a double crochet stitch, so we still need to yarn over and pull through those last two loops that form our double crochet stitch. And this is the forward pass. The return pass is the standard one for this stitch. So we will yarn over and pull through one loop only first, then we yarn over and pull through two loops together. Repeating the second movement, yarn over and pull through two loops together until the end of the row, until the end of the return pass, and until we are left with just one loop on the hook, like this. In row number three, which is our second row repetition, we will uh, do the same, but 
The only difference is we will alternate the stitches uh, row after row as well, meaning that we will work a purl stitch where we made a double crochet stitch in previous row and a double crochet stitch where we worked a purl stitch in previous row. So since we started uh, on row two with a double crochet stitch, this means we will start with a purl stitch. So yarn to the front, this is the double crochet stitch of previous row, and here we will work our purl stitch. Next stitch was a purl stitch in previous row, and this means we will make a double crochet stitch here. Like this. And so on. Purl, double crochet, until the end of the uh, forward pass we will keep on alternating just like before. So here I have uh, reached my second to last stitch, which in this case is a Tunisian double crochet. So we will um, work here in the border stitch very simply, uh, the usual neat closing stitch. So without having to make a double crochet, a simple stitch, but as neat closing stitch. And the return pass is the standard one. So, and this is all there is to know uh, in order to learn this new stitch. I rather like the texture it produces. You see these um, lovely uh, bumps and ripples uh, this stitch pattern creates. Quite lovely. I'd need to um, try it on a bigger project to see how it turns out and to see how it looks when worked uh, um, in two colors, for example. Let's see. This is how it looks on the back. Okay. And this is it for today as well. I thank you for watching and leaving comments, uh, as always, for subscribing. And, well, see you next time then. Bye bye.